What a dooski guys, it's your boy Farewell34 and today I'm here with my Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4 Episode 15 Self Control Reaction Video. Fam, we are in for a crazy episode right here so I'm not going to talk too much about what's been happening really but basically they went on a mission last episode to try and save um, May, stop Radcliffe, get Mace back and basically what ended up happening was we figured out that when they came back on the ship they were all life model decoys. Anyway, guys, I'm really excited to see what's going to happen. If you guys are as excited as I am to start this one, guys, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. Also, if you're trying to join the notification squad, then be sure to click the little bell button next to the subscribe button so you hear right when the videos drop. Also, guys, my social media and PO box information is in the description down below, so be sure to check that out. With that being said, let's get it. Self-control. They're getting right into it. Not even a long... Introduction, this is gonna be a good one. Oh boy. They're all got Oh I didn't bring you here to die. I'm going to save you. What? I'm not afraid to go. I don't want to be a thing like you. Oh gosh. No. What? <laughs> Bro, oh my gosh. Too far, too far technology. Okay, what are they gonna do? They're waiting to separate us from the general population, then kill us or switch us. Okay. Okay. Shh, relax. Take a breath, it's okay. The one advantage we have over them is they don't know that we're on to them. I haven't been able to locate the submarine on satellite. In your best estimation, do you think it has missile launch capabilities? Well, can not know that for sure, but one could posit that, yeah. Well, once this storm has cleared up uh, and the director has fully recovered, we can start to put a system together. Recovered enough. Oh, God. Oh, my God, that was fast. A little sore, but I'll manage. I think Daisy <laughs> should contact the Inhumans personally and oversee their... Transfer to HQ. I'll take care of it. I'll help me calls. That's our top priority. Along with finding Agent May, right? Of course. Well, perhaps Simmons and I should retire to my office and uh, discuss the logistics of the search. Actually, we discovered an old USSR communication hardware device um, on the raid. Oh, God. Maybe they use that for communicating. But we should probably keep our brain trust together until we can decipher the code. Good idea. The tension. Let's get to it. Holy shit, man. This is freaking crazy. The hardware we brought from the Russians loading dock. Still in the shipping container on Zephyr 1. I'll oversee it's offloaded down into the basement now. God damn it. Androids. Yo yo is our most valuable assets now. We want to get to her first. Sounds like the right idea. Oh no, not yo yo. Is everything okay? You're in danger. I'm so angry right now. God, no. What did Radcliffe do? Hey, it's okay. This is why I'm locked up in here. Hey. You're not afraid of what I'll do. You're it's afraid okay. that they'll discover you. You can help them, too. May, this is a good thing. This is a very good How thing. How can you possibly think that? What? I get it. My programming is different than yours. You had to discover that your body had been replaced. You must have felt blindsided. What? I understand a basic truth that you don't realize yet. And what's that? That our bodies don't matter. Radcliffe built a world, a world exactly like this one. Every molecular detail the same, just with a little less hurt for each of us. Damn. What do you mean, hurt? Imagine if your greatest regret could be wiped away. Do you know what that would be? No, fam, no regrets. Regrets are piled up after that. Could have lived like a civilian, you know? A simple life. You'll be a badass. Now we can have that. Are you saying we'll eventually be able to be together? I'm saying that in the framework, we already are. What? Could have had digital scans of their features. On the ice of the May Android, complete physical geometry. So he could have replaced anybody. 
No. No. <gasps> oh! What is? Oh my God. Lab was to take it upon themselves to mount LMD detection devices randomly throughout the base. I'm so mad. I mean, it must be a calibration error. It's reading the equipment or something. Whoa. Sit right there. Hey, Gemma. Back away. Back away. All right, until <gasps> we can figure this out. <gasps> Bro. Out. You're pointing a gun at me. Why are you pointing a gun at me? Wait, is she the robot? Shut up. It was her! We come to the workshop. Although you brought me here. No, you you were you were the one telling me to act no one. You knew how the LMDs were made. You knew it. There's no calibration error. I'm not the one that's pointing the gun! I'm putting on the one that's on Android! You wouldn't let him say that if you were, you'd be programmed to! Oh my god! I'm so hurt. Oh my god. Fam. Okay, okay. I perfected the technology. I started this whole nightmare. I'm sorry. I'm thinking I'm thinking it's fits. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna fight you, Gemma. Even if you are a decoy. Dude, this is hurting I'm me. Bad guy. Okay, no matter what. So I'll do whatever you say. Okay? I'll do whatever you say. Go in a position where you won't die. Oh my god, I'm mad right now. So Daisy is. Wait. Only if they resist. Okay, that's everyone. You really think it's necessary for me to personally greet each other? So Daisy isn't a decoy. It'll be more it was fit. Okay, I'll suit up. Rest, you can sleep through. This is twisted, dude. This is twisted. Your fits is mine. There's no reason to be afraid. I was always trying to protect you, pursuing technological souls to the problematic scenario. Oh God. Radcliffe's cured death. Once I map your brain, we'll never have to fear losing each other again. Don't fight, Gemma. You're too weak. 
We're securing our future. This is so messed up, fam. So we can get married all together. That's the first time you've mentioned it. Getting married. I mean, I thought about it. I was afraid to bring it up. What? This is not a good way to bring it. What? Fuck you. Ugh. Thank God. Had me tripping for like a millisecond. That would have been a freaking crazy twist. She just killed her boyfriend. Daisy told me to tell you she wants to check the accommodations for the incoming inhumans before we head out. The containment rooms downstairs? Yeah. Damn it. Oh. Uh oh. This is gonna be bad. He wouldn't know. Yo, oh my god. <laughs> They've outdone themselves this time. I feel like the real one is in the back left area. Oh, damn. Kill this dude, dude. How is she not killing him? What do you do? <gasps> she doesn't know. Oh no! Fuck! This just became a thriller, dude. The base and cut the security feeds. Dog. <laughs> well, realistically, she should just go up there and just pew, kill him. Oh, Gemma's here. Wait, wait. It's an end. It's me. There's no way to know until they kill you. Jesus Christ. I'll quake you. Don't touch me. Give me your hand. I'll quake you not to hurt you. Not to hurt you. Just enough to kill your bones. The, the, the real bones. Oh my God. <laughs> Is she real? Okay. Co-signed. Where are the Claire? But dude, this episode's wild! And unfortunately, they've created a paradox in my programming. Hmm? What do you mean? Explain. My two main parameters are in opposition due to human emotions. I was programmed to protect the framework, but also to preserve your life above all others. Well, how is that a contradiction? Uh-oh. Because the greatest threat to the framework, Doctor... Is you. Is you. 
That's simply not accurate. I am giving them a replica of their life with less pain. Yes, but their physical bodies will eventually give out because of it. Reality is just perception. They perceive it as real, which makes it real. They might not believe that. But I do. I know it. I believe it to be true wholeheartedly. He's so dead. Thank you for clarifying. That statement fixes the paradox. Oh my god. I can now solve both problems at once. Fuck! In one episode? Really, what's our other option? The best way to ensure that we can save them is to find these machines pretending to be them and take them down. Eyes and ears open, people. Let's move. God damn. Through all the insane crap we have gone through. Oh my god. The one thing I've known without a doubt. The whole time. Is you and Fitz belong. I believe that too, TBH. So I'm gonna beat the screws out of those junkers, and the two of us are gonna get the hell out of Dodge. Let's go. Deal. Deal. Badass. Word. Sleeping gas. Smart. We should kill the lights. They can't see in the dark as well as we can. And I'll get Agent May ready for the contingency plan. Contingency what? Explosives? They trying to bring the roof down on us? Is that it? <laughs> oh my gosh. I think Maeve's gonna be the one to save the day. Is everyone okay? It's time for you to enter the fight. Fire. Badass! Oh my god! The Ripley vibes are real! Come on, quick! Oh. This is such a good episode! Thank you! A Quake Punch?! Yikes! Oh my god. Choreographing this episode is ridiculous. That's not what it feels like. Oh, that's a good Mac! Come on! Oh, Mac. Fuck, fuck. Daisy, this is for your own good. We didn't want to hurt you. But we have no choice here. No. Come on. Let's go. Don't resist us. You'll be fine. Use like a shockwave, dude. She's not about to use a command mayha, bro. Freaking killed her. But she's almost dead. Daisy's not dying. This is wild. I almost shed a tear just from how awesome that was. This is already way better than Ultron. Or processing, I should say. Please. Do you want us to die? Coulson says that doesn't matter. That doesn't sound like Coulson. By the way, no one have to regret this decision. 
I'm... This will take a while. Worry about Mac later. Can you program the Daisy fleet downstairs with basic seek and destroy? Of course. Do it. Be ready to release them. The freaking Daisy army? And that's a real gun too. That's not a freezer. I thought you said you had them. Mary. Hmm? What did you do? What I wanted to. She let him go. I told you. What about the other agents there? They're just unconscious? With a bunch of crazy androids? Well, damn. Right. Our programming is different. Are you afraid to die? Because I am. You say you don't anymore. But that pain, that regret, that's what made you a person. A person I love. Damn, dude, this is sad. Hats off to you guys at Shield, man. This is a fantastic episode. My programming was to get the dark cold. That came from Radcliffe. But my impulse that came from me. To keep Coulson safe and close. That desire it me. That came from me. <laughs> That's good. And I'm sorry to say. You're not him. I am the one, the one. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! Boom! Wait, how big was that explosion? Isn't she on Supergirl? Actually, that actress. Okay, here we have Yo Yo. Hook up with our people and find out where on earth their bodies are being held and rescue them. That sounds easy. This is a freaking movie, dude. Easy. Living in that too long may kill you, but dying in there will definitely kill you, so be careful. So is May Dunzel then? You too. I swear to God, if there's another decoy on this ship, I'm done. I can't take it anymore. Some Inception stuff right here. Wake up your boyfriend we are being called. Huh? Lincoln's not here. No. Don't fall in love with this world. <gasps> what if it's Ward? No! No! Colson a teacher? In humans, why we fear them. Bro. No way. Oh, Fitz is a baller though. I rate it. Who's dead? What is going on? What? Okay, what's going on with him? She didn't do that, bro. Your mind is alive and well inside your head. It's your body, though. Untouched. This body is mechanical. Yes. What? It's writing, if you're interested. I need you walking around, able to continue protecting the framework. The perfect machine, controlled with a mind endowed with the ability to feel love, anger, wonder, joy.
Damn. Ada is off the shit. What the actual hell? And guys, that was Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4, Episode 15, Self-Control. Way too many things were happening. I'm still trying to comprehend what just happened in this episode. First and foremost, fantastic episode. My god. That was a movie, dude. There was a whole switcheroo with the life model decoys, a whole Fitz and Simmons dy dynamic. And uh, speaking of that, when they got into the simulation at the end, Simmons was was dead, and Fitz was holding another person's hand. We don't know who. Ah, my, there's just so many questions. And then there's a freaking army of, of Chloe Bennett's of <laughs> freaking daisies. Like, what is happening, guys? I'm really looking forward to seeing what they're going to be doing in the next couple of episodes. And now the freaking Russian dude is, is controlling his body, but he's a severed head in a jar now, it just turned into the walking dead, I don't even know guys. Well, guys, I'm really interested to know what you guys thought about this episode and your thoughts going forward, uh, because if I'm not mistaken, S.H.I.E.L.D. is on a hiatus for until like April or something, which unfortunately sucks, but you know what, if it's gonna help them make episodes that are just as good as this one, then I am looking forward to it guys. What did you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below guys. Jeez. As always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. I will see you guys next time. Peace. What the hell, dude?